Yo, dooms and ghouls, it's October 31st, Halloween, that evil holiday, or so I was told from a Jehovah's Witness, and I'm glad you're with me because we have some doom and gloom to talk about. What a fitting time. I happen to be off. I know I said I wouldn't record until the election, but with 8 billion people, there's always something to talk about every day. The sun's glaring in my eyes. It's about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, a record high temperature in upstate New York. I'm about $20 away from, yes, you heard that right, 20 from reaching my YouTube payout cash limit. So use the super thanks below, it'd mean a lot. Or if you prefer the PayPal, I'm fine with that. Just gotta get that out the way. Thank you for liking, and subscribing, and all the new subscribers to this channel. If you can't stay, sorry, you can't enjoy the party because we're grabbing the popcorn. We're enjoying the show. We're witnessing the collapse of human civilization. Just like all the other civilizations before, everyone here understands that civilizations come and go. That is the fact. That is the reality. And we're on a search for truth. Facts. Or so Indiana Jones would say. So let's get into it. If you don't know already, North Korea just launched another ICBM long-range missile test with the intention of striking mainland USA. Technology given by Russia, who is also using their troops to invade Ukraine. Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan says this is already World War III. On the climate front, because I want to skip over the election for a moment, we have five days. I'm not going to make any predictions right now. More importantly, the global surface temperature anomaly is back over 1.8 degrees Celsius, sitting at 1.83 C as of October 28th. This smashes last year's record for the same of 1.61. Will we get a two-year average temperature of 1.6? Melting Arctic sea ice could have dramatic effects on ocean circulation. Don't we hear this phrase over and over? Also, NASA helps find thawing permafrost adds to near-term global warming. Duh. Is climate change lighting a fuse under Iceland's volcanoes? Who knows? Much speculation, but I don't want to bore you. I'm living like a person in all of this. You don't need to suggest to me to enjoy my time because that's why I moved out here to improve my quality of life, which has been slowly and surely degrading for most Americans over the past 30, 40 years. Does it have to do something with the fact that the top 10% control over 60% of the wealth? That grinds my gears. That makes me want to throw my hands up and holler. Happy Halloween. Not to sound smug or brash, but I had a quick moment to give you a flash briefing. State of the Climate World Report 2024 shows that greenhouse gases are continuing their rise. Really potent stuff that we use for like refrigerants and all that. They're still up there and they're making holes in the ozone that was as once repairing itself and now it's opening back up. We have literal data on this. Data. So to all two or three hundred of my subs, you're paying attention. It doesn't take much to read to read these comments on all the, the climate reality channels and see that everyone is pretty much on the same page that we are irreversibly and exponentially destroying our habitat for humans and all life on Earth. But they found that Mayan civilization, like with 50,000 people near this city in Mexico, they could use all that topographical data and it's fascinating. Grab the popcorn. Do I say it again? Yeah. Some woman just called me a Jersey boy. It's one of those weird things that older people do where they project onto you their historical experience with a different America. What the hell does that even mean? I'm from Texas. I'm the Doom Wizard. <sighs> Don't need a brag. Thanks for tuning in. <sighs> Big developments. Everyone's trash, garbage. Trump rides the garbage truck. <laughs> it's just hard not to laugh when you think about the 8 billion people and the mess that we're creating. We're in this together. Have a spooky day. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.